Now, as a huge horror fan, when TikTok is blowing up over the scariest movie of all time, you need to see this movie, I was like, what is this movie? And turns out it was actually playing the theater near me, and I was like, all right, it's a little bit out of my ways, but you know what? I'm a huge horror fan. They're calling it the scariest movie of all time. Let's go see what all the hubbub is about this movie. Skin of Rink is about two children wake up in the middle of the night to find their father is missing, and all the windows and doors in their home have vanished. Now, before going to see this movie, there was a little bit of hype in me because, again, I'm not going in thinking, this is going to be the greatest horror movie of all time because that's all hubbub, that's all TikTok people, that's all Reddit people just talking about this movie. And you know, when I first saw the poster, I was like, all right, looks creepy. I saw a few clips, but I never saw a trailer. So I kind of went in just purely blind. And I can tell you this, the general audiences that are going to go see this movie are going to hate it. They're going to call it very very boring, seriously. And no one that I saw this movie with, everyone in this theater, I saw three people get up and leave. And there was like six of us in this theater. So really, I'm gonna tell you, general audiences, don't go out of your way to go see it. But the die-hard horror fans, I still don't know if you're gonna love this movie. I think this is gonna be a toss-up movie. And I'll say this biggest positive. The director knows how to create an atmosphere. Whoever did the cinematography and the director, which I know is a first-time director, is like a $15,000 budget, they created a complete atmosphere of childhood nightmare fuel stuff. Seriously, it's set in the 90s. The entire grainy look, the old sound of the camera, and it's not a found footage movie, but it feels like it because this movie is filmed not like a normal movie. Seriously, there, the characters, there's you hear voices. You never see people's faces at all. Like, at all. This whole movie, you never see someone's face. You literally, the camera will be like in the corner while the whole action is happening off screen and you're hearing it. That's the whole movie. That is the entire movie. And that, to me, for an hour and 40 minutes, it got tiresome. Like I said, the sound design, the atmosphere, the dark shadows, and the really dark scenes of intensity of fear, when it's there, it's there. And it's very intense. Like the ending and the last shot, very in your heart. Like, am I seeing that right now? Because the movie's playing with you. It's letting you, your imagination, create it like a child laying in your bed in the dark. That atmosphere is in this movie, and I applaud that. But as an hour and 40 minute movie, literally, again, I can't really talk about the actors. It's two little kids, and you hear their voices, and you hear creepy noises for an hour and 40 minutes. There are shots of just Legos on the floor for three minutes straight with no talking whatsoever. It's just creepy TV noises, and that's it. That's the entire movie, really. And honestly, for a movie, I don't think it needed to be an hour and 40 minutes. This could have been 35 minutes. You can go on YouTube and look up creepy clips right now and get the same type of fear and scaredom from YouTube from three minute clips. For an hour and 40 minutes, I, 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 I felt bored. The pacing, I felt it. I picked up my phone, I was like, how much longer? 40 minutes left. I was like, this needs to wrap up because at some point you're bringing in such an atmosphere of fear to your audience. It's like a roller coaster. At some point you need to take a break. This movie, we needed a break. It needed to end. And for that, the entertainment value, the general audiences are gonna hate this movie and not like it at all. And honestly, I don't blame them, but I will say as an experimental horror film, being very different with no interaction of characters at all, just sound design, dark shadows, and when there is creepy moments, especially with some freaking eyes in the dark shadows involving a toy, that was creepy. That was good stuff. But that alone can be watched on YouTube in a two minute clip instead of an hour and 40 minute movie. I'm gonna give Skin of Marink a C. So no, everybody, this is not the scariest movie of all time. If you wanna know the scariest movie of all time, it's very subjective. People find horror either very scary and some people find that same horror movie very funny. So it's very subjective. You just gotta watch it on your own. If you want my honest opinion, I will say the movie Lake Mungo, a found footage documentary type movie, 
that, that is pure scary. This movie is feeling that experimental way with dark figures, but in the end, I mean, it was creepy enough, but not creepy enough to be a full-length movie. But I do want to see what the director does next, because he does have some type of atmosphere creep to him, and I like that stuff. He did a great job with the atmosphere. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoyed this movie review, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.